Hello Nintendo Wii here, welcome to episode 28 of Retro Gamer Week. I was quite surprised I haven't already talked about this game actually. This is Pluck for the Super Nintendo. Definitely one of my all-time favourite games. Not just on the SNES, but on any console. It was released in 1993 by Trade West, although it was actually developed by the Pickford Brothers, who have kind of made a name for themselves these days. And they've actually brought Pluck back after many, many years of him disappearing off the face of the planet in the form of a webcomic, so you can actually go to their website and read the Pluck comic and support them on Patreon. Unfortunately, it's not a new game, but I think that's the closest we'll see in the Pluck series for a while at least. I actually remember way back in like 1998 or 9, there was actually a petition online to get Pluck 64 released, and I actually did sign it back then, but unfortunately they never heard our cries and it never got released. Pluck was originally supposed to be based on an arcade game that they were making for a different company called Fleapit. That game never actually came out and they kind of reused the same sort of ideas to come up with this, which is an amazing platformer, definitely one of the best on the system. It's got fantastic graphics, as you can see here. The music is top-notch. I remember um, a video, an actual v VHS video I used to have, had a segment in it which was talking about Pluck, and they said the music was award-winning, and I can see why. A new cult hero hits your screens in the form of Pluck. How do you describe Pluck? Well, basically, he throws his arms and legs at the enemy. Pluck is a massive cartoon platform game with incredible music and stunning graphics. Not only will this game go number one in the game chart, but number one in the music chart as well. I kind of think kind of like Rayman because you can actually throw your limbs at the enemies. Sometimes around the stages there's these little targets that you have to hit. So if you throw your limb onto a target it actually goes onto a coat hanger somewhere else in the level and that means that you start walking around maybe with an arm missing, maybe with a leg missing. You, it can actually get to the point where you've lost all your limbs and you literally just bounce around the stage. Which did happen to me at one point and I was completely stuck but I did manage to finish the level just with one arm and no legs. All I could do was just punch these bees that were in the middle of the path. The game starts off pretty simple, it's just a basic little platformer. But once you get to the end of the first world and defeat the boss, or try and defeat the boss because it's extremely challenging, you actually then move on to another island and the game picks up a lot. You actually have to explore the levels throughout looking for these little fleas that come out of eggs. So you have to kill a certain amount of fleas before a little thing flies over to the flagpole and lets you raise the flag. That's the whole point of this game, you're actually looking for a flag. At one point in the game as well, Pluck goes back to his house where his grandfather lived and actually has a dream about his grandfather going through these worlds in the past looking for a hidden jewel. So it's really cool, the game actually goes black and white for a little bit and you play as Pluck's grandfather going around these levels, which are sort of remixes of levels that you've already played but in a kind of old-timey, silent cinema kind of way. It's just so much fun, this game's got so much charm to it. The enemies are really creative and varied. The boss fights, although they're extremely challenging, they're also extremely fun. Everything about this game makes it an absolute classic for the system. 